Welcome to another episode of the Podcasting Podcast, how to get started with podcasting in your organization. Today, we're going to have a look at why podcasting is so popular, what sort of business items you could podcast, and how you can get great content for your podcast. Three, two, one, here we go. Podcasting has become increasingly popular in recent years, and for good reason. It offers a unique and convenient way to consume content that appeals to a wide range of interests. Here are some reasons why podcasting has captured the attention of millions. Firstly, convenience. With busy schedules and on-the-go lifestyles, many people find it difficult to make time for reading or watching video content. Podcasting allows listeners to consume content while multitasking, whether it's during their commute, workout, or daily chores. There's also diverse topics. From education and news to entertainment and self-improvement, there is a podcast for every interest. With so many different genres and niche subjects available, listeners can find something that caters specifically to their interests. Diverse topics is another. From education and news to entertainment and self-improvement, there is a podcast for every interest. With so many different genres and niche subjects available, listeners can find something that caters specifically to their interests. And then there's authenticity. Podcasts often feature real people having authentic conversations, making the content more relatable and engaging for listeners. This human touch sets podcasts apart from other forms of media that may feel more scripted or polished. On-demand access. Unlike traditional radio or television shows, podcasts offer on-demand access to their episodes. Listeners can choose when and where they want to listen, rather than being tied to a specific broadcast schedule. Diverse voices and perspectives. Podcasting has given a platform to diverse voices and perspectives that may not have been represented in mainstream media. This allows for a more inclusive and well-rounded exchange of ideas and information. Low barrier to entry. Starting a podcast does not require expensive equipment or a large production team. With basic recording equipment and some editing software, anyone can create their own podcast and share their content with the world. Engaging storytelling. Many podcasts use creative storytelling techniques to captivate listeners and keep them coming back for more. This can include sound effects, music, and expertly crafted narratives that draw listeners in and hold their attention. And then there's community building. Podcasts often have a dedicated and loyal fan base, creating a sense of community among listeners. This can foster discussions and connections amongst like-minded individuals who share a passion for the same podcast topics. Overall, the unique combination of convenience, diverse content, authenticity and community building has made podcasting a popular form of media that shows no signs of slowing down. With new podcasts constantly emerging on a variety of topics, the future of podcasting looks bright. So it's no surprise that more and more people are turning to this medium for their entertainment and information needs. If you haven't already jumped on the podcast bandwagon, now is the perfect time to start exploring all that this popular form of media has to offer. Who knows, you may just find your new favourite podcast. So what are you waiting for? Grab your headphones and start exploring the world of podcasting today. With so many options to choose from, there's something for everyone. Whether you're looking for educational content, entertainment, or just a good laugh, podcasts have got you covered. And with the convenience of on-demand access, you can listen whenever and wherever it's convenient for you. So don't miss out on this popular and ever-growing medium. Start discovering new podcasts now. Keep listening and stay curious. The possibilities with podcasting are endless. So, what's
What sort of business things can you podcast? Well, here's just a few examples. Meetings, executive speeches, business updates, investor roadshows, so employees can have some insight into what outside audiences are hearing, customer trade show presentations, presentations by sales executives, so employees can hear how the company's products and services are sold to the outside world. I even see different business units offering their own podcasts, allowing employees to subscribe to those that would be useful and ignore those that aren't. The IT department can hard code these podcasts deemed important to everyone into their smartphone, just as they can make the internet homepage the browser's default homepage. Access to external podcasts could easily be restricted, protecting the company's precious and costly bandwidth. As many commentators are now saying, considering the low to no cost entry into podcasting, its acceptance into the internal communication mix should happen sooner rather than later. And you can save your busy executive from the tedium of countless non-productive hours. Here's how. Let's consider the average manager or executive. They receive between 60 and 70 emails a day, links to spreadsheets and pages on the company internet, links to other websites, and then they take a trip to another city, hop on a plane, but now what? If they're in cattle class or economy class, there's not enough room to swing a cat, let alone open their laptop. They could probably read some of the material their colleagues sent them, but there's no printer available, so unless they printed off the equivalent of War and Peace before they left, they're stuck with the airline magazine. But if they brought their smartphone preloaded with some episodes of their favourite podcasts, they could listen to them. And also on the smartphone, they could listen to a recent presentation the CEO gave to the investment community, an update on sales figures from an affiliate organisation, a synopsis of performance by the executive's own division, news and commentary from leading online broadcasters relevant to the executive's own industry, and a few really banging tunes to help the executive take their mind off their troubles and stress. Another question I'm often asked is, how can I get great content without having to hire a professional radio announcer or pretend to be one? Here are a few examples. Ask the sound guy at the CEO's presentation to save the speech as a digital file. Adam in finance can read the sales figures into a cheap microphone attached to his computer. A few clicks of his mouse, and he saved the file as an MP3. Suddenly, Adam is a regular contributor and expert with his own segment. Rob, in admin, can read the performance stats into a cheap microphone attached to his computer with a few clicks of his mouse. Suddenly, Rob is a regular contributor and expert with his own segment. Once you've decided to start a podcast, it's important to have great content to keep your listeners engaged and coming back for more. Here are some tips on how to get great content for your podcast. 1. Know your audience. The first step in creating great content is knowing who you're creating it for. Think about your target audience. What topics would interest them? What questions do they have? Understanding your audience will help you create contact that resonates with them. 2. Research and plan. Take some time to research topics related to your podcast theme. Look for trends, current events and interesting stories that you can talk about on your show. Make a plan for each episode, including an outline of the main points you want to cover and any guests you want to invite. 3. Be authentic. The best podcasts are those that feel genuine and authentic. Don't try and be someone you're not. Let your personality shine through in your content. This will help you connect with your audience and keep them engaged. 4. Invite guests. Inviting guests on your podcast can bring fresh perspectives and add variety to your content. Look for experts in your podcast's niche or people with interesting stories to share. Not only will this provide great content, but it can also help you reach a new audience. 5. Get feedback. Don't be afraid to ask for feedback from your listeners. This can help you understand what resonates with them and what they want more of on your podcast. 
You can also use this feedback to improve your content and keep your audience interested. And six, stay consistent. Consistency is key when it comes to creating great content for your podcast. Stick to a regular schedule so that your listeners know when to expect new episodes. This will help you build a loyal audience who will keep coming back for more. In addition, here are some general ideas to consider when creating content for your podcast. Use storytelling techniques to engage your audience and make your content more interesting. Incorporate different formats, such as interviews, solo episodes, or panel discussions to add variety to your show. Utilize social media platforms to gather topic suggestions from your listeners and involve them in the conversation. Collaborate with other podcasters to exchange ideas and potentially collaborate on episodes. Keep up with current events and trends in your niche as these can provide great inspiration for content. Remember, the most important thing is to be passionate about what you're talking about. This will come through in your content and keep your listeners interested. With these tips in mind, you'll be well on your way to creating great content for your podcast. Also, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try new ideas and topics. Your listeners will appreciate the effort and engagement you bring to your podcast. Keep pushing yourself to create unique, informative and entertaining content that will keep your audience coming back for more. And most importantly, have fun with it. After all, that's why you started a podcast in the first place. Keep experimenting, learning and growing as a producer and your content will continue to evolve and improve. Happy creating. Oh, and don't forget to promote your podcast. Utilize social media, collaborate with other podcasters, and reach out to potential guests or sponsors. The more exposure you get, the more opportunities for great content will come your way. Keep engaging with your audience and incorporating their feedback into your content. After all, they're the reason you're creating this podcast in the first place. With dedication, hard work, and a passion for your topic, you'll continue to produce great content that will keep your listeners hooked and coming back for more. Well, that's this episode of the Podcasting Podcast, how to get started with podcasting in your organisation. If you'd like to subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss anything, head to Apple Podcasts or Spotify and search for the podcast by name. That is the Podcasting Podcast how to get started with podcasting in your organization. You can email me at lee at leehopkins.com if something you've heard today deserves the conversation. Please make your email subject podcasting podcast. Thanks. That's because I receive around 60 emails a day and I'd hate to lose yours in amongst them. Hey, why not record your email? That would be cool. Until the next episode next week, ciao.